Hello people, this is the Music Makers. I'm very happy to be back on this video today. It's been a long time since I, I didn't do a video. Uh, because maybe you know it, I, I walk in, I'm working on a, on a EP. Actually, I think we will have five tracks on this, on this record. It's very strange to say records. Uh, today I would like to talk a little bit to you, with you, about this thing, about the evolution of a music business, of a music terminology, of the way of doing music. Um, this, um, this word, uh, make a record, it's something pretty strange today, and uh, it's the same things of saying, uh, doing an album, of doing uh, uh, a disc. I, 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 I continue to, to hear people talking about disc, um, come on and listen to my, to my new disc. And of course, we uh, continue to, to make CDs and more and more people uh, do um, vinyl. And uh, it, it's, 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 it's a project for, um, about myself it's to, to, have, um, uh, to have a vinyl of this EP. But, um, I think it's pretty strange because we we don't know exactly what to say now because <clears throat> saying um, I'm, I'm going I'm going to do uh, a, a, a disc it means not really it it, it it doesn't mean something today I think anything uh, anymore and um, okay I'm doing an EP okay. Uh, what what doing an EP means really? It means having five tracks, five songs. Uh, um, I would like to release at the same time, like a kind of package. Okay, an EP or an album today is just a package, and, and in this package you have as music of course, but you have the visual, you have maybe some videos, you have some um, and even. Even your your Instagram post, your fa Facebook uh, book post, your YouTube videos and Twitter feeds and everything is is it's uh, inside this package. Uh, for me, the package is all this thing, and it's a new way of of of, uh, of of thinking your music production. When you you say it, okay, you many many people continue to say that let's do an album, but when today you do an album. You, you, you will have to do so many things around it, and it's uh, in a way it's very passionate. It's it's very interesting to do, but it's so much work. Anyway, this is not this is not my purpose today. What I would like to to, to talk is it's about a music production in a in a in a producer more way. Actually, I stopped using. A to use, I stopped to use Pro Tools, Pro Tools um, um, since um, the first uh, 10, 10 version, Pro Tools 10. And um, it's because of two, two things. The first thing is they, they start this um, um, subscribe, subscription um, a model. Uh, it's not a bad model actually, I, I think it's interesting. But at, at, at the time I said, no, okay, I just... And I have this old Pro Tools, Pro Tools 10, but it, it didn't work very well with the new uh, Mac OS version. And um, I continued to use it a little bit, then I stopped. And also at this moment in my, in my musical life, I am started to work on more electronic um, kind of music. So, for electronic music, or around electronic music, I'm, I started to play with, to, to, to work with Ableton Live. Because I think, till today, that Ableton Live, it's, it's, a, it's the best software, it's the best DO and uh, production, music production platform to do electronic music or around electronic music. Also, at the time, I use a machine. I have a machine micro here, and I don't know if you see it. I have a, a machine studio right here too. And I, 
and I'm start working exclusively on this platform for my project, The Wishing Machine, for example. I, I will give you some link around. And uh, it was electronic music for um, 90%. Uh, of course, there is voices and everything, but I, 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 I used to record voices on, on, on Ableton Live. For this project, it's more about instruments. Uh, actually, there is a little bit of electronic stuff, but it's 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 eighty percent instrument. And uh, so I, I start the production of this EP on Ableton Live, and it works really 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 fine for that. But now when it's time to polish the stuff, record some acoustic stuff, record some. And, and, and start the, the mixing process. Uh, my my music production process is not is not so usual. It's, it's like my music. It, it, I, I work in a certain way, but a very personal way. So anyway, I I said to myself, you have to be back to Pro Tools, and also of course because the drums uh, were recorded on Pro Tools. So it was the simplest way. And today I'm very happy to be back on Pro Tools because I love this software and I forgot how much as I love it. Uh, actually, I started, I started so many times ago with, a, with a, the first DigiDesign um, software. Um, they named it, I think, Sound Tools at the time. It was, I don't know how, how long it was. Maybe I can, I can, I can investigate to, to know that. And then I I I was in a I was in a um, video movie post production at the time, more than music actually, and I start producing on Pro Tools version one version version two etc etc and, and I work on Pro Tools my entire the majority of my career was on Pro Tools then and I explained it to you before like I said before I turn to uh, Machina, to Ableton 9 and to Logic because Logic because of the price actually of and of the very reactivity on uh, Apple platforms. And now because I have to mix this thing, I think Pro Tools is the best tool for mixing. The best at all. And um, it, it was something I want to talk with you about and the problem ha I have and I had in my previous project about the fact I did, didn't mix my music. And this, this thing is, came from, come from the electronic music uh, world. Today, because you have everything on your computer, you can record yourself, you can produce yourself, you can create sounds, you can do so many things by yourself. You don't need to go to a studio actually. You have a, a mic and, and it's okay. Um, and you create sound. And the, produc the production process is already a mixing process for me. It, in my, in my, it's my ID. With, it, 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 it's, when you produce a track, since the first day, since the first sound you record or you create, you start your mix. I know for I know it's it's um, maybe it's crazy and, and I know many of you can say no you you you're wrong it's not mixing is another process. For me and because of my experience in electronic music, I think it's not it's not an evidence and. And it's very frustrating. I, I can say it now because finally the end is not a big deal, but I'm very frustrated to not mix some of my uh, uh, past projects because you know it's it's a way you, you, you have to do it. You, you, have a, you, have, you have a producer and you have a mixer and you have a mastering engineers. We have this free job. And all the thing that was mixed by someone else, I'm not satisfied because I, I can't hear the sound I produce. I'm, I'm not just 
flawless uh, an arrangement of, of a musical ID. It, it was not a, just about music anymore now in, in music production. It's, it's more and more about sound and more and more music producer or, or, or involved uh, on sounds. And that's what it's pretty new uh, uh, if you compare uh, from, the, from the 70s or 80s or even the, the 19s. 19th. And, and, and uh, now, when you're a music producer, when you, when you record your music, if, even if you're a drummer, and then, I, I don't know, I, I don't care, it's not a problem. You're involved with, with, with the sound very, very early in your production process. And for me, it's kind of weird to say, okay, I, I create all these sounds, I, I tune my drums like that, I put this little, this little uh, things on my, uh, on my guitar, I, I equalize uh, uh, my sound uh, this way, I, I, I work with compressor because I have it on my, on my door and I like to, to, to play with it. And then we say, okay, I put all these this tracks, dry and give it to a, to a mixer engineer and you have to mix it for me it, it 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 doesn't work it doesn't work and uh so i, I don't know what do you think about it but i think there is some kind of problem now with technology uh, about this thing when you, you you have to to give your music to be mixed um uh by someone else. Uh, I know, I know we have incredibly talented mixing engineers. But if you, if you, if you think a little bit, uh, all this um, modern day recording album, the mixing engineer, sometimes and not most of the time, and then many times, is a producer too. Yeah, you can you, you can check it, and it is not for it's not so new actually, but so I think now these two two jobs um, kind of um, can morph together and can be together at just the same time. So this is why, for even if I don't know. Andrew Chaps come and say, I want to mix your album. I, I think I would say no. I think I would say, okay, you can be in, 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 a, in a share, uh, just behind me and, and give me some techni technical advice, but only technical. And what I, what I, I learned during this whole year is when you, you give your music mixed by another person, at a moment, it will give, it will give you uh, a, a, a sound advice, and a sound advice for me in modern music is an artistic advice, and it's a problem. <laughs>